Okay, this is the guest quarters. And I'm just going to go ahead and do the interior for the guest quarters as well. Uh, but this is the interior plumbing. The interior plumbing and um, appliance video. Sorry, a senior moment there. But this ceiling fan's not working for us. That's an appliance. Um, maybe there's a control of having a, you know, some controls. Well, here we go. There we go. Excuse me. Okay, we're working. False alarm. We can keep going. This is the bathroom for the guest quarters, and I'm, I'm not operating it. I can't fill it enough. Uh, I do not have a, a control valve. I do not have a drain stop. I do not have an overflow drain for it. So I don't know what kind of provision they were going to put there for our overflow drain, but we don't have one. Another thing is, is that this drain is below the lip. So you can have some cross contamination there. I know you're never going to fill it up this high, but until I know that the overflow drain is below the faucet, then the faucet's too low for the water. This is the only commode, and all the commodes work, by the way. <laughs> this is the only commode, this is the only plumbing thing that I've seen that does not have a discussion plate. There's little plates that go around here. Those little plates, it doesn't have a discussion plate. You don't have a cover plate for this receptacle outlet. And this is the only bathroom that has an electric receptacle outlet that is not GFCI protected. None of the bathrooms have vent fans. And speaking of fans, excuse me. None of the bathrooms have vanity mirrors. Mirrors are not installed in any of the bathrooms. And speaking of fans, See, this is where the fan goes. I just want you to know, it's the farthest one. The rest of these are lights. So you can pretty much figure that out. Okay? Since we're in the interior, and this is all the interiors, I'll probably say it again. I probably have already said it again. But we do not have our screws on our brackets for our clothes hangers. That's not a utility appliance. So what do we learn in here? In here we learn <laughs> that this bathtub is not operable. We got some questions about the drainage. Uh, we learned that we do not have a discussion plate. We learned that this is not GFCI protected. Coming along. This is probably not the only time you're going to hear it because there's uh, some redundancy in these. I get it. It's not that exciting, huh? Three prong clothes dryer. Drywall screws, those would chew up some wires. We do not have the cover plate. We do not have a vent for the clothes dryer. Clothes washer, washer connections. We do not have the trim ring around drain. And we do not have 120 power, electric power supply to it. We don't have anything to run a dishwasher here. If you're going to put a dishwasher here, a clothes washer here, excuse me, a washer here, you're going to put something here that uses the cold and hot water like that. That you want to use that you want to use a dryer for it's just just not there. Oh, home inspector theater. How about that? Can I come in? Come on in, Mr. Fire. The door's open for you. Thank you. You always make me feel so warm and welcome. There's supposed to be a spring here. Oh, we don't have a code for that here. No, there's a code for that. There's a code for that. Oh, well, you know, everybody. No, 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 no. I took my spring off. It's annoying when I bring in the groceries in. I get that. But as important as what we have in the garage is, the things we care most about, our family and our pets and our friends, not necessarily in that order, all of our documentation, our investments, our birth certificates, our income taxes, all of our art and collectibles, you know, everything we care most about is inside. And so this door should close so that we don't, you know, this just gives us a fair chance. The laundry, there is no G, that's a four prong, closed dryer. Now we have connection boxes installed, kind of like this is a connection box. 
Okay, we have connection boxes installed for our clothes dryers, and there's not one there. And the length of the clothes dryer should be posted next to it so that you can buy the right equipment that has enough oomph that it gets it out. It probably whatever you buy will probably work with this. But the code says that documentation is supposed to be there. The code says we're supposed to have GFCI here and we don't. And the code says we're supposed to have GFCI here and we don't. Like in the garage, we're also missing our, our trim ring. We're also missing our trim ring. Okay, hot's on the left, cold's on the right, sink's working good, we've got a drain stopper, no GFCI, it's supposed to have it, no GFCI, it's supposed to have it there. Coming on along, the food way, the uh, dishwasher hasn't been installed yet, we've got a uh, one-third horsepower garbage disposal, so if it's a one-third horsepower, it's okay to put a switch underneath here. If it was one horsepower, that would be different, but it's not, it's, it's one-third horsepower. Coming along here, we've got an air admittance valve because we can have an island. We can't run the vent pipes. I don't want to run the vent pipes to the ceiling. <clears throat> but this is a mechanical device. So every once in a while, when the plumber's over, you might have him just kind of take a look at it, check it out, make sure that everything is working okay for you. That's what you should do. All right. And it's loud. It's got a bunch of trash in it. And that's the only kitchen appliance that's present right now. But let's just talk about this here for a moment. Kitchen countertop extends more than 10 inches, should have a corbel underneath it, or a post, or a metal slat. Okay, that's what the uh, National Marble Institute says. It's supposed to be supported. It's not supposed to be hanging like that, that free. Somebody could sit up there and break it and everybody laugh, ha ha ha, we had a big Christmas football party, Thanksgiving football party, whatever. Uh, Uncle Bud was all liquored up, but then it's going to be very expensive to replace this. The kitchen is supposed to have at least two electric circuits. If you count the refrigerator, okay, if you count the refrigerator, it does have two electric circuits. Or if you count the garbage disposal, it does have two electric circuits. Or if you do count the vent fan, it has two electric surface circuits. But if you do not count those, the kitchen, I'm used to seeing two electric circuits. That's what you're supposed to have in a kitchen. Each kitchen is supposed to have two 20 amp circuits. I'm not seeing that. I'm not seeing what I would call that. I'm not seeing two electric 20 amp circuits for the kitchen. Countertop. This is called a foul line. F-O-U-L. That's how it's hillbillies pronounce it. Foul line. Hillbilly home inspections. It's called a foul line. That's where all the germs and the bacteria and the cooties and the viruses hide, okay? It's supposed to cascade straight down. It never does, okay? Also, this kitchen sink, what's supposed to happen with it is the manufacturer thinks that you should put clips. They drill holes on the bottom side of this cabinet. They put metal clips. They bolt it up. Well, that's not what they did here. They just put some sticks up here with some sheetrock screws. That's what's holding your counter. That's what's holding your sink up. Is that one stick, these two sticks with sheetrock screws. They might have put some glue in there. They might have put some glue in there. You don't want to stand in this thing. All right, maybe not wash your baby. I used to take baths in the sink. My mom used to wash me in the sink. It might not be what you want to do this time. Okay, when this home was just a baby in the builder's belly, they did not have a countertop reveal party, okay? So all these receptacle outlets, all these outlets were supposed to be installed so they stuck out away from the studs far enough so that the drywall, sheetrock, gypsum board, whatever you want to call it, comes in here and all these things are mounted flush. But then we came in here with this beautiful back backsplash here. It's nice. I mean it is. It's nice. But when we did that, now our box is way back there. Our box is way back there. All of our fire blocking has been compromised. Now they sell these devices called extenders. I heard one of them call it a spark box. Uh, goof rings, whatever you want to call them. They cost about two dollars. That's a two, four, six, eight, and ten dollars. You know, it's going to cost you more than that. They're going to charge you sales tax or whatever. That's how they get you. But they sell these things. Pretty handy girl. I got a link to Pretty Handy Girl, and she shows you how the the builder could have done it a little differently, a little better, could have done it properly. But anyway, it's not an expensive thing, but it's wrong. It's a new home, and it's done wrong. Wrong. It's just wrong. 
Okay. This is where our oven's going to go. This is kind of unusual with the oven because it's got two breakers for it. One of them works and one of them I don't know what works. This is called the stove top breaker. The oven breaker, who knows what it goes to. But I do have power. It's four prong. It goes right there. This is the kitchen vent fan. Okay, this is where the vent fan's going. Vent fans are not even required. And they're not required to vent to the exterior. But if it is venting to the exterior, we do not have a vent pipe. There's no piping. Okay, so a vent needs to be installed. This is the electric receptacle outlet for it. And that's another, co another cover plate that's missing. And it does work. It's hot. But um, just so that you know, you don't have a vent for your vent fan. And they have circulating fans. I don't know what's going in here. I don't know if anything's going in here. But that's what that is. We're well, moving on along. This is the thermostat. We've got three thermostats. Every one of these thermostats is a manual. Heat off and cool. Since 2015, it's been required in the state of Texas for the National, International uh, Energy Code that every single family residence should have at least one programmable thermostat. You have three systems. It would be better if you had three programmable thermostats. This thermostat tells you what temperature is going to be in the guest quarters outside. Because the guest quarters is on this. This is the two and a half ton system. So the two and a half ton system operates this. I think it operates this bathroom here, this half bath. Not sure about that 100%. Operates the guest house. Coming on through here, we're in the primary. Now look here. Now the switch is in the middle. So remember the guest quarters? The switch is supposed to be over here for the fan. Now it's over here. Is that crazy? Wow! Again, we don't have our mirrors. Hot's on the left, cold's on the right. This is all pretty much. This has not been installed. This has not been installed. In fact, I need to measure this. And I will. Now, I'm not going to say anything until I measure it. But, um, but this shower has not been installed. This bathtub has not been installed. The bathtub drain has not been installed. Coming along here, if you have a lavatory, this is the soil closet room. If you have a lavatory, and the commode works, if you have a lavatory, then you should have an electric receptacle outlet. Is that right? Not sure. I think you're supposed to. I might have to look that up because I know that uh, some sinks are not required. Like in the laundry, it's not required. You have them. But it's not required in a laundry. But if it's in, in here where somebody might be shaving, where you have a mirror that's going to be here, uh, uh, electric uh, toothbrushes, whatever you're going to choose to use your device, you do not have an electric receptacle outlet in the primary bathroom soil closet, commode, area, call it what you will. If you have a window in a bathroom, uh, an articulate, operable window, a vent fan is not required. However, you do have vent fan in the bathroom. What's its orientation like? I can carry it away. Okay, that's where it should be. It's the farthest one from the light. Light first, that. You're missing your screw. Coming on along. This is going to be a long one. Just bear with me. We got a little bit of light coming through that door right there. This commode works. Hot's on the left, cold's on the right. This has GFCI. See this notice? All the GFCI receptacle outlets should have this notice. All right. This GFCI in here. It doesn't have to have that notice because you got the device. The device is, is self-evident. But this device controls all of the bathrooms in the house except for the bathroom and the outside guest quarters, which is not GFCI protected. Moving on along. The fireplace is a device. This fireplace has not been finished. It's not, the installation is incomplete. All I'm doing is manual. This is not, I mean, it has a heater in it. Do not cover, I get that. Um, but it works. Right here. Just instant romance right there. 
Instant romances. We're good to go. All right. Still, because it creates heat, because it generates heat, you shouldn't get closer to it than 36 inches. Maybe use this as a guideline. Moving on along, the home faces east, okay? So we're going to the northwest bedroom. Actually, well, the, the north, the only hall bathroom, actually. On this bathroom, in the southwest bedroom bathroom, the northeast and southeast bathrooms, in all of these bathrooms, the showers are sealed. Those little green squares are grouted in there. So, because I can't drain it, I'm not going to operate the, the, the showers. Commodes work. See, this is GFCI protected, but it does not have GFCI noted on it. There's your vent fan right there. Oh, but there's a light. There's a light. Take, oh, 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 how am I doing this? No, you're supposed to have the vent fan. It's supposed to be over there. Boring. One thing that I noticed in these uh, bathrooms all the way through the house, and the kitchen too for that matter, is I'm not seeing a tempering valve. They're not required. I'm not seeing a tempering valve that, you know, keeps the water from getting too hot. Okay, there's that. There's a fan. Oh, light, light fans? What am I doing? Can I, what, what? No, put the fan switch over here. Again, drain is sealed, the modes are working, everything's fine. No label for the GFCI, but it is GFCI protected. And again, you know, boring. Hang on, we're almost done. We are almost done. And we're moving along. You know the thermostat. This is in the den or the game room. It's not programmable. Another thermostat. It's in the formal dining area over here in the butler section. So, all right, not programmable. All the air filters are on the ceilings. I can't see what size they are. They look like they're about 24 by 30, something like that. Smoke alarms in all the appropriate locations. And I pushed all of the smoke alarms and I tested all the smoke alarms. I tested all the smoke alarms except this one. I could not reach this one right here in the formal living area. And if a home has an attached garage, see, because this is an electric fireplace, but if it has an attached garage, we should have carbon monoxide alarms in here. We should have a carbon monoxide alarm outside of each bedroom and a carbon monoxide alarm. Is that right? Or inside of each bedroom. So you can put one carbon monoxide alarm out here and it would service these two bedrooms. One south side or put one inside of each bedroom. This is the southeast bedroom bathroom. Again, grab it in, goes down, everything's boring, GFCI protected, no label. This bathroom is you and no mirror. Okay, no vanity mirrors. When we're in here. This is, that's the fan right there. That's the first one. See that? Isn't that crazy? This bathroom is unique from the rest of the bathrooms in that the hot and the cold water are reversed. Hot water is over here. Cold water is over here. It's not supposed to be that way. Coming on along. This door is missing. Sealed, sealed, boring, boring. GFCI protected. And that's... You know, that's the plumbing and appliances, and appliances.